Okay, so for this particular question, we're given this equation and asked to find dy by dx in terms of x's and y's. And to find dy by dx for something like this, we've got to use implicit differentiation. If you're not sure about that, just go on the website, look under implicit differentiation, and you should find some video tutorials. Now, when we look to this first term here, y times e to the minus 2x, we're going to need to use the product rule for differentiation. Product rule, remember, is this rule that if you've got y equals two functions of x, u and v, say, being multiplied together, do y dx equals one part times differential of the other part, and then plus, and then you just do it the other way around. So if I'm going to differentiate this, then I'm going to say that therefore, let's say we take y as the u part, one part, and we differentiate the other part, e to the minus 2x. So we've got y multiplied now by the differential of e to the minus 2x with respect to x. And we should know that by the chain rule that comes out as minus 2 e to the minus 2x. And then we'd have to plus, and then we do it the other way around. We take this part, e to the minus 2x, and we multiply it by the differential of this part with respect to x. Differential of y with respect to x, though. Remember, we've got to do implicit differentiation. Differentiate y, first of all, with respect to y, which is 1, and then we multiply it by dy by dx. So that's the implicit differentiation bit. Okay, so that's the left-hand side done. Now we just move to differentiating 2x with respect to x. That's going to be 2. But when we come to differentiating y squared with respect to x, remember we differentiate it with respect to y first of all, so it'd be 2y. But we then need to multiply it by dy by dx. So, as I said earlier, if you're unsure of implicit differentiation, do go back on my website and look under the tutorials for that. So, let's just clean this up next, okay, if we're going to try and uh, find out what dy dx is. This first term, well, that's going to be minus 2y e to the minus 2x. This next term, that will be just plus e to the minus 2x times dy by dx. And we can copy these two terms down. They seem to be in good order. So 2y dy dx there. Now, if to, we're to make dy dx subjects, we need to take the terms containing dy by dx, bring them to the same side. I'm going to take, yeah, we'll, we'll look at well, we'll look at adding this term to both sides. I don't like the fact that this is negative. Add this term to both sides and subtract 2y dy dx from both sides. So if we do that, we're therefore going to have e to the minus 2x dy dx and then minus the 2y dy dx. And that's going to equal this 2 plus this term here, 2y e to the minus 2x. Now we can factorize the left-hand side. We can pull out dy by dx as a common factor. Should really write dy by dx, though, at the end of the bracket, okay, rather than at the front. So we'll put that like that. That tends to be the position that we always do that kind of thing. I could factorize this side as well actually. I could pull out a 2 and then we've got the bracket 1 plus y e to the minus 2x. But if you don't spot that, I don't think it's really that important. So all I need to do now to get dy by dx is just simply divide both sides by e to the minus 2x minus 2y. So that gives us two lots then of 1 plus y e to the minus 2x and that is all divided by e to the minus 2x minus 2y. So there's your answer for dy by dx. Okay.